Hi guys, this is Jen and there's Noah from a and Such and Such and B Center Fragrance Old Spa. This video is for uh, quite a few people that has requested um, yeah, to see my place. soaping area. Yeah. Wow. Noah. To see my soaping area and my kitchen. Because, you know, everybody knows it's that's where I soap. Kitchen. That's my kitchen. My kitchen. <laughs> so, I'm actually going to, I'll turn around here. I'm going to try to do this slowly to not make you guys really sick. Um, let me back up. Sunny. This is where I soap. Um, I'm getting ready to make a batch of soap, so I've got some things out. Um, my scale's there, you know, for... Because i got to measure out some things. But um, this is where I soap. The video of you is always like this. Um, I have my camcorder set up right here with my tripod. And my new KitchenAid. I love that thing. And let's see. You know, this is a kitchen. So it's got kitchen things in there. My scale. And my kitchen door. Over here, you can see um, my husband's uh, work lunchbox, and then that is my cutter under there. Um, we, I, we're limited for space, so I don't have much room. But that is um, my alcohol that I use. And in here, I'll show you guys. Up here, these are my um, piping bags that I use. They're in here. I just on a big roll and I just pull them out as I need them. Back there are my like smocks that I wear when I'm soaping. And here I have my silk, scissors, some, a mini scale, just some things you know that all of us soapers have. Down here I've got some more powders and these are all jojoba beads, strainer, just little things that us soap makers have and in this cabinet up here I'm going to open it and I shall back up those are all of my fragrances and my mixing bowls that I use when you guys hear me you know take a step back it's because I turn around here to get something out of this cabinet I have way more fragrances than I thought um, but that is what is all in that cabinet so shut this up. My kitchen sink has dirty dishes in it. What would you know, right? I have kids and I just made lunch. This area uh, is my husband's actually. He's a vapor. And this is these two things are his like stations for his vaping. Um, dishwasher down there. Uh, my microwave that really needs to be cleaned off but hey you know over here we'll go this way you know back over there's my stove my refrigerator in that room is my laundry room not open in that not a chance um this rack this big big shelf as you guys can see, that big white one, uh, I bought uh, and Eric put it together for me to hold some of my soaping stuff. I got lots of molds up top, some molds up there and some containers. My uh, scale normally sits right on top there is where I put my scale. Molds, these are where I keep all of my additives, all of my little molds. My additives are back here my containers that I use to measure with some pomegranate seed oil that I have not used yet. Here's some packaging items down in here. Um, packaging, packaging, so it all is in there. I'm not going to open up the bottom drawer. It has all of my samples in just a minute. Huh? Yeah. Eighty nine stories high. Wow. Eighty nine. These two drawers has um, some sample fragrances. Mommy? The bottom one, the next drawer down, is completely no, full. No, my toys. my no. planer, some more packaging things. Um, that's what's in here. There's lots of tape back in there. I just got a bulk order in for packing tape. 
in this container here is all bath bomb colors. That's all that's in there. And then somebody asked to see my rack, my caddy. This is the caddy that I take with me and put when I am, it's actually backwards, when I'm making soap. There it is. This is the caddy that I take and I took it to the sink. Or to, not to the sink, to the soap. Uh, these are all colors and I marked the top of them so I know what's in there without having to pull them up and look at them. All t the whole top is nothing but micas. These has a couple of micas, but these are all pigments and oxides. All right, this drawer has all glitters and uh, charcoal, or yes. And then these back here are extra glitter. That's not in my puffers. Here are just utensils, strainers, little whisks, um, paint brushes for painting. This drawer is all, uh, yeah, spatulas, that's it. Uh, this one has nothing but really pipettes in it. Here's my spoon drawer and these I use to mix and if I decide to pre-mix, I have some of those sitting in there. Nothing to kneel down. This is my piping drawer where I have my piping supplies and this is my where I swirl my tools. I actually love, where's that, here's one. These metal ones, or these glass ones, but they don't make delicate squirrels inside my soap. Um, people always ask what is inside of my uh, titanium dioxide. It is these. Um, the paper, it's all like you cannot read nothing. But they are quarter inch uh, stainless steel ball bearings. That's what's in those. Um, gloves. And a few other little things. Bottom drawer has stick blenders. And that is what is in my caddy. So we'll push it back where it belongs. Hey look, there's my trash can. Woo woo. Kitchen table, which is a mess. Woo woo. Noah said woo woo. Um, here are some bath bombs that I made and monkey farts. They're about ready to be wrapped pretty hard. Um, these are some cold processed ducks that I made. And these are the Milton Poor ducks. Um, I actually decided to make them in cold process and paint the cold process, process ones. So that's that. And over here where Noah is playing is my curing racks. I don't have a huge space for your curing racks. Uh oh. It's my time. Hold on. But there they are. And we just. Let me help Noah for a second. Back up, buddy. Can you get it? We just pull the thing up and get in there and put wherever. I just like to have the towel down there. Because as kids are running by and stuff, you know, it kind of knocks down dust or anything that could land on the lower ones because, you know, dust always settles to the bottom. So I have those on there. And you can see my cupcakes under there that I've made. And these are all my... my toys. Oh, his toys. These are all of my soaps that I have curing. Over here on this side, I will pull this up are all the tester soaps yeah. that we just did. You can't see very well. The light's not good over here. Uh -oh. But um, this is Strawberry Patch. And here is some of the testers. You can see how dark they have gotten. Super dark. Thanks, so. Smells so good though. This is the salted caramel. In their own songs. Oh, what's Noah have? He's got one too. Yeah, let's smell this one. Mmm. I don't remember what it was named. I'd have to look at the video. Thank God for the videos, right? This is my Aleppo soap curing. It's rock hard. Still curing away. Hey, Noah, that one's not rock hard yet. Sort of. 
uh, soaps, soaps, soaps. This was the candy corn. You can see it has gotten really dark. It smells really good though. But this, since I'm over here on this other end of my kitchen, I have a back up against this wall, and I'll show you. This is my kitchen. It's not humongous, yeah. but it is way bigger than the kitchen that I used to have when we lived in our little bitty trailer. I love my kitchen. So thank you all. Hey look, there's Mixed Pixie sitting right there, sleeping, snoozing away on my rug. So thank you all for watching, and I shall catch you guys on the making video.